Hi, this is Liz, I'm a certified technician. Today we're gonna to go over what to do when your desktop won't turn on, freezes, or turns on, then off. You hit the power button on your desktop and nothing, no lights, nothing. You try plugging into a different outlet, still absolutely no power. No worries, I'm a certified technician. I'm gonna take you through the troubleshooting process I would do to fix this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug your power cord because we're gonna do what's called releasing the flea power in your system. This will oftentimes cause a complete reset of the system, which will many times revive a dead computer. And so how you do that is after unplugging it, you hold down the power button for one whole minute. As a side note, like, share, and subscribe if you find this helpful. After one minute, hit the power button. Oftentimes, this will fix any sort of minor issues. I know it's simple, but computer repair shops cost, uh, charge you a small fortune for this service all the time. You just don't realize it. Next thing, I'm going to locate uh, if that doesn't work, the next thing I'm going to do is locate my CMOS battery inside the desktop, which is a coin-sized battery, uh, keeping in mind my system's still unplugged. Um, and then once I've located that coin-sized battery, next thing I'm going to try is a BIOS reset, which is removing that coin-sized battery, which causes BIOS to reset. So your computer's base system will reset once we do this, which will oftentimes fix issues. Uh, like a computer not turning on. So I insert the screwdriver and I pull out that coin size battery like so. And once again, I'm gonna leave it out for a minute. And this usually will reset that base system which can cause a computer to revive once again. I know these are some odd things you're trying but they work and there are standards in the system. I'm actually showing you trade secrets. So we put it back in and then we're gonna try turning on the computer once again and seeing if it revives. Uh, next step is to hit that power button, see if it works. Also, the less thing you have plugged into your desktop when we try this, the better. My advice to you, if those first two things didn't work, would be to try replacing your power cord next or your PSU, or power supply unit, which is where your power cord plugs in. So, just my advice as a technician. So from one AK to another AK, this is Liz signing out.